Hi everyone, it's Sincerely Luminous with a pick a card reading for you. And today we're going to be doing a reading on what is your soul in need of? So I know it seems a little bit kind of obvious, kind of since we know, yeah, I need food, I need sleep, I need, you know, all that basic stuff. Um, but this one's kind of taking a little bit of a deeper dive into that, I think, because in life we kind of just go by you know day by day and kind of get lost in the shuffle and you know you just kind of focus on what you're trying to do what you're trying to get done and you kind of lose sight of that so that's why I'm doing this pick a card reading so I do have four piles to um, to choose from today so one two three four <laughs> nothing one two three four as they are um, labeled here so, you know, just take a deep breath. Let's just do that. Take a deep breath. And exhale. Take another deep breath. And exhale. And let's just do one more. One more deep breath. And exhale. So hopefully you feel a little bit more calmer now. Kind of clear the mind a little bit. Feel a little bit more laid back and ready to choose your pile if you haven't already. If you have, of course, you can always um, refer to the timestamps um, below or in the comment section. I'm gonna, I'll try to put it in the description um, since it's faster that way. Um, but yeah, I guess that's pretty much it. So again, you know, just remember that these are general readings and I do try to you know, you, I want you to get some type of message, but if not, you know, maybe you just need to pick another pile or maybe there's just like a small message for you today. You know, maybe it's just someone else is in a little bit more need of a message. It could be anything. Um, so that's all there is to it. So, you know, if you haven't selected your pile, go ahead and do that. I'll give you guys a few more seconds before we get started with pile number one. Alright guys, so let me move the other piles out of the way, and we will get started. So hello pile number one, group number one. Hope you're all doing fantastic today. Thank you for viewing this video and stopping by. I really do appreciate it. And have a few different cards here, so let's start with your tarot cards, because I do have the oracles. And Let's see what kind of picture we have painted here for you. I'm trying to get it so it's like straight on the video. It's like, do I need to go up? Yeah, let's do that. Let's go a little bit further up. Sorry. All right. Very interesting, very, very interesting. So let's go with your other cards. Let's start with your um, your Oracle cards. I'm gonna kill myself for saying um so many times. I'm already sorry <laughs> to you guys, I don't mean to. I'm gonna try to make sure these are in the frame. I hate when they're not, there we go. I hope And then let's go with your other two on the other side. Very interesting. Very, very, very interesting. Okay. And then there's two more oracles. So I'm going to see if these hopefully fit here they do I'll be like whoa that's awesome yeah they do cool all right group number one let me see if I can get this better for you guys I hope that's a little bit better so I'm just taking a second to kind of get a feel for it I mean what's really catching my attention I really think with the 
you know, I'm starting with the tarot cards versus the oracle cards, but I see the link between the two. Starting with these. Sorry. Message in a bottle. And truth be told. I kind of see a tie right there. You see a connection. And then when you look at the other two on the opposite side. Let's get that in focus for you guys. Attachment and door to romance. So I see another connection there. It was very interesting. So what your soul is in need of, group number one. So starting with the full, the star, the high priestess going to that. Definitely a lot of optimism. I feel like your group is out on this new journey, this new path, and you're very optimistic, very hopeful about, you know, the circumstances, everything um, that's happening. Sorry, I just like blanked for a second. Um, you know, High Priestess is like very, you know, when I first saw it, I thought, what came to mind for me was like spiritual. So it but I don't think that's the case here. I feel like maybe, but it has some kind of connection to it. Like I feel that's what it is. I feel like that was some kind of energy coming from the high priestess um, with that. But then you got to the right with the oracles, the door to romance and attachment. And then you have truth be told and message in a bottle. And then on top, trustworthy guidance. And then your last oracle card is hummingbird, confidence, motion, and adventure. So yeah, I'm going back. I think with the journey that you're on right now, there's a sense of being strong in your beliefs and following you know, the truth, what your truth is. And it feels kind of like, like, I don't know, maybe I'm just picking up on it, but like you got her, right? And see how she kind of has like, oh, crap. <laughs> sorry. Um, it's like she has the message right there. And then you have a message in a bottle. in a bottle I'm sorry I want the truth on it too so I feel like <sighs> some kind of like I feel like you need the honest like and that it's almost like you're afraid you're afraid to move forward you're afraid to take action it's like this is what you want your soul needs this new beginning you need to be optimistic about it you need to move forward and that's what I feel like your trustworthy guidance is. This oracle. So. And it says you've received a wonderful idea as an answer to your prayers. This idea is real and trustworthy. Boom. <laughs> you can safely move forward with it. Knowing that we are with you every step of the way, ask for and be open to receiving our support for anything that you need related to this idea. So I feel like you're on a new start, honestly. I feel like, oh, my bad, my bad, sorry guys. Um, you're needing of this new journey, but you're afraid. I feel like you're afraid of it. You're on this new path, this new, like you have this new idea, like this passion that you're trying to follow, that you're trying to get through. And I mean, deep down, I feel like the full, that's your energy. I feel like you're just very, you know, hopeful right now in group number one. And I think that's what you really need. Your soul just needs to be that carefree 
attitude have faith have that optimism with you you know like it's funny how the the message kind of tied into three of those and the truth um it's like being honest with yourself and you have people that are backing you up you have the spirit your spirit guides your angels watching over you and you kind of already know i think you already know but it's like you're afraid of taking that leap of faith you are afraid of taking that's what it is script number one um and maybe because of the romance i feel like this might be in regards to a particular person that you are interested in that you got your eye on you know you want to be with and um maybe you're afraid of being attached maybe you're afraid you know maybe you've had something happen to you in the past which would make you know complete sense of yes i want the romance but i don't want to get attached i don't want to get hurt again and that might be what you know is holding you back is that um but you got this other oracle oh my god did i say shake i think i shook it sorry um oh look at that pretty hummingbird confidence mo <laughs> motion and adventure you're being guided to be grateful of the many relationships within your life including the one you have with yourself you possess the power to attract positive change in your life expand and trust <laughs> And I talk, oh my gosh. Stretch yourself in new ways, love yourself unconditionally, and the world will do the same. Yeah. Your soul is a need of just adventure, confidence, and honesty. I feel like you know, like, I. You're having just doubts. And this is like your confirmation telling you go for it do it your soul is in need of this new adventure that you're going on whether it be <sighs> sorry guys i hate when it does that it stopped um but yeah i think like because this is a general reading that romance part may not apply to everybody i think everybody is on this you you're needing this new adventure you need some excitement in your life you need like this new beginning you need something to, to happen to come through and you just need to be optimistic about it you know with the law of attraction you do not want to throw out those negative thoughts yes it's going to happen yes you're going to have your doubts it happens with everybody trust me when i started this youtube channel i'm like oh, how's this gonna go um but i think that's what you need you just need that you know adventure and that's finding your own path and you just need to be honest with yourself about it you just need to be honest with yourself about it you have what you need to do to get done you have your spirit guides with you you have angels with you um if this is for you know for the others in group number one if this is regarding a relationship with you um for you sorry um that's why i think i see that attachment card and you're kind of like oh do i go through that door do i not go through that door do i you know, do I, do I open it? Should I keep it locked? Do I want to go down this path again? And I think you should go for it from what this is saying. Um, you know, I, I think that's what it's just saying. What your soul is in need of is just this new adventure, this new beginning. You need this. You need to go for it. Just go for it. Have that confidence. You can do it you know it's it's all within you just stay optimistic stay hopeful keep the faith keep the faith and and i think you know you're you're probably gonna end up surprising yourselves and that's what's gonna be awesome and you know so that's what your soul is in need of your soul you're you're feeling a little weary a little tired bored and i think this will spice up your life you know um and bring you that contentment that you're that fulfillment that you're looking for so yeah i think that's you know very positive so go for it you know group number one be brave show confidence in yourself you can do this it's gonna be good it's keep the faith and go for that adventure or go for that love whatever <laughs> adventure that life is bringing to you truth be told you already know 
you know, you just gotta go for it and be like, okay, I'm doing it. Boom. <laughs> so, awesome. Well, thank you group number one for stopping by again. If this resonates, please let me know below in the comments and subscribe if you haven't already um, so that you, you know, get notified when new um, pick a card readings are posted. But thank you so much again for stopping by. Bye group number one. Hi group number two, how are you guys today? I hope you're doing wonderful. Um, I thank you for stopping by and watching and picking a deck or a pile, sorry, not a deck. Um, so, you know, let's go ahead and get started. Let's see what what is your soul in need of. We'll start with the um, tarot cards to get an overall idea and go from there. And these are not in any particular order. I'm going to try to get these into the frame. Group number two, what are you guys up to? <laughs> oh boy okay that's that's already interesting you guys have already got my attention so let's take a look at your oracle cards and see what we have there let me get my vet up a little bit yeah okay and then let me put in the other two. Very interesting so far, group number one. I just feel like you guys have something going on romantically. You guys, yeah, your soul. Your soul, I'm glad you guys are here. I hope this will help because I'm already getting a feel for you guys as far as what your soul's in need of. And Honestly, I think you guys probably do too, and you just, this is like a confirmation of it. Um, <sighs> group number two, group number two, where do we start? <laughs> I'm thinking of how to word this, that's what I'm thinking, I'm just like, wow, obviously this is, a, I mean, this is a relationship, this is a relationship. Um... Yeah, you guys, oh, you guys are not gonna like me. Ugh, like, can I bang my head on the camera? Um, this relationship that you are in, that you're currently in, is causing you to feel trapped. Well, okay, um... I feel anxiety. You know what was funny? Um, I think with this group, this group was like when I was doing shuffling the cards, and I'm sorry, I'm getting off the track. You guys some um, seem like calm ones, but <laughs> your guys' reading is like totally different from group number one um, that I just did. It's like you got this blindfold on. You got this blindfold on and it's like you're feeling trapped. And it's with this person that you're with. This person that you're with is doing this to you. And what your soul is in need of, like, well, I'll get to that in a second. I feel like the person that you're with is in control. Let's see if I can man holding a heart yeah I feel like that's your partner female male you know I don't know I don't know um, whatever you know resonates for you sorry um, yeah I, I feel like he's the one in control he's the one pulling the strings he's the one it feels like a code codependent really type of relationship and your soul is in need of happiness 
And I think your soul also just needs to find that self-esteem again. You need to find your value. Your soul needs that to recognize how valuable and important you are, the happiness that you deserve. That this is like, it, it can be an illusion. But I think the reason that it's not really an illusion is because of the circumstances of the relationship that's making you feel that way. And your soul, I mean, I can't even <laughs> change in direction. <laughs> that's what your soul needs. Your soul needs a change in direction. And what it says, the changes you're experiencing are divinely directed by your newborn willingness to open your heart to love and our guidance. You are protected now and in the future. So follow your path to be happy. Ah, your path to the happy outcome. I can't speak. I can't speak on the first one. I can't think of this one. So follow your path to the happy outcomes you desire. Change in direction. I don't think this has anything to do with the babies. I think it's just like yourself finding that new, that new energy. Because then you have the blue jay. And it's saying to be assertive, daring, and universal wisdom. You're being guided to be aware of the synchronicities in your life. You are entering a time of intellectual and spiritual growth. New truths are forming each day. Be fearless. Trust your gut. Be your authentic self. Take inspired action and what you desire will come to fruition. Yes, 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 that's... <sighs> be your authentic self. Trust your gut. You... <sighs> That bird. When I see a bird, I feel like freedom. Like being able to go and do whatever they want. Go where they want to see, you know, just fly. And have you ever seen like how sometimes, it, it, like birds, have you just seen them like when they're just flying and it just seems like they're having fun? They're just kind of like, wee, <laughs> up in the sky. I think that's what your soul needs right now. I think your soul needs fun. I think your soul needs to be strong and daring, courageous. <sighs> you need to find your people. You need to find the people that you truly belong with. You need to find... I mean, look, you got the birds again. So many birds freedom like I think birds and I feel just freedom and happiness and yeah like it's annoying when you hear birds chirping outside your window at like five six in the morning but it's peaceful because they're peaceful their energy is peaceful they feel peace and that's what your soul needs you need to feel like you're like this you know like this type of connection not that. No chance. Don't don't need that. <laughs> you need this. This is the type of connection you need. And I mean, this summarizes it. But it, new life. It, I don't. You know. I don't want to be that person to say. But I, you know, you, you know, you know, you know, you need to take that blind. Sorry guys, it stopped. But anyways, it reminded me I needed to focus the camera. Um, but yeah, you, your soul needs you to take the blindfold off. To realize what is really going on here. You need a change in direction. You need to find your tribe. You need to find your self-esteem. Be assertive, be daring, to be free, to be happy, to find your self-worth, to find your true joy. And I don't know, I just don't, I don't like that feeling I get from man holding a heart. 
it's like he's holding your heart and he knows it and it feels like he can do whatever he wants like you know like you know how in the movies how oh is it like indiana jones <laughs> the indiana jones where like he takes out the heart and then he like squishes it in his hand and it's like it turns to dust i don't know i don't know but, but you get the idea of what i'm saying you know that that's kind of what i'm picturing in my head like he just got this control over you or she's got this control over you sorry sorry please forgive me um yeah and that sounds deep you guys it's not easy i'm not gonna tell you that this is easy because i know it's not it's scary change it's scary change but change can be good i can't even tell you my life has just been in complete upheaval since January of this year. So I, I know, I know. But damn, don't you want to be that, like, free? Don't you want to be happy? You deserve that. Remember what you deserve. If anything comes out of this message, any, you know, if any takeaway, just remember. You have so much more worth than one, what, what, than what one person is showing you or is not showing you. And I think that's what brought you. And group number two, I, I send you lots of love, light, and healing. Because I know it's not easy. And this is what your soul is in need of, though. And I, I really do hope that you find that courageous spark in you to be daring and assertive, to take action, to remember your value, so that you can find what you deserve, because you deserve better, you deserve more, and you know that. It's time's ticking, you know? Be happy. Universe wants you to be happy. Your angels want you to be happy. So that's what I have for you, group number two. Thank you so much for stopping by. If this resonates with you, please let me know in the comments section below. And if you haven't already, please subscribe. So and hit that bell icon so that you get notified once um, new pick a card readings are posted. Um, but again, just thank you for stopping by and watching. Bye, guys. Hello group number three. Thanks for stopping by and watching. Truly appreciate it. Um, let's get to it, right? Because this is what you came for. Let's find out what the cards are going to tell us. Group number three. Sorry, my throat looks like... <laughs> oh my goodness. Okay, sorry. Um, a little humor. My bad. Oh, okay. I like what I'm seeing here, you guys, so far. I can't see, like, because I have it at an angle, and I'm not sitting at an angle, so I have to angle it, the cards, right, so that it looks straight for you guys somewhat. So, yeah, this is what your soul is in need of, and kind of painting a picture right now, so let me pull your, um, some oracles first and see so those are the first two then you got these two over here and let's go with I got two more oracle cards for you guys and the last one this one's interesting. Okay. So what is your soul in need of group number three? Tell me. <laughs> I'm like, no, that's why we're here. You're supposed to tell us. Okay. Okay, can we just point this out? Can we just cluster these together right now? 
thinker and the thinking man, so you've already been, well, I don't think you've been thinking about it, but the universe has been thinking about it. Because <laughs> you got two. I'm trying to get this on the same page. Sorry, I'm gonna move these around. Bear with me. Okay. Your soul is in need of a new beginning for sure. Something that's gonna bring value and worth to you. And I feel like your soul needs this like determination like to get through Oh my gosh, I'm gonna kill myself if I say like, I'm sorry, I just, you know, subconsciously do that, I'm so sorry. Please forgive me. Um, yeah, I feel like you just need, you need to rise up, I mean, you definitely need to rise above, but then you need this like new level of commitment in your life. Your soul needs this new type of commitment. It doesn't, it doesn't mean like I'm not getting the feeling romantic or anything. I feel like your soul needs to celebrate. Your soul needs to feel victorious. You need to, like, you just need to celebrate your accomplishments. Like, you need something. And then you have the regeneration card, so it kind of, kind of goes with the Ace of Pentacles, where you're needing that new start. Like, you're whether you know it or not, I mean, or maybe you've already, like, restarted it and you're going down this path of it. And then you have the man holding a coin, and that's why I think, like, that's going back to your, to that one Ace of Pentacles and needing that, something that brings you value, like, you're in control of everything what I want to say. Hmm. And then you have the be honest with yourself card. So this is like, you know, you just need to <laughs> kind of face the music and it's not always an easy thing. Of course not, you know. It's... And then you, you're, you have the gorilla card. Your soul needs self-confidence, leadership, and responsibility. And I feel like that's what the, the second tarot card is really kind of more about, like, taking ownership of what this new change is going to bring for you. Because I feel like that new change, yes, it's going to bring value and meaning to your life and, you know, the material world kind of thing. I feel like your soul just needs to decide. Like you've just been thinking, like you're just thinking, like you really just need to think about it. Think about it. You just like that's kind of like it's funny because you guys got two. Two. Let me make sure this doesn't stop. Sorry, this camera's been like. Okay, I hope it doesn't stop. It's been stopping um, on me. But yeah, something I I don't want to say like it's taking leadership, but I think it's taking more like ownership, you know, and being honest with yourself about everything and doing what you need to do. Like I feel like you know that this new beginning is what you need, but you're kind of avoiding it. Like maybe just not wanting to. Like, I don't feel like you wanted this change. But it's going to bring you value, and it's going to bring you meaning to your life, and your soul needs it. Your soul needs that. And it's kind of like, maybe you just kind of don't really want the responsibilities. Like, ugh. So there's something going on. I don't know. Is it like, are you, you know, are you... <laughs> like, what came to mind right now is, like, in a relationship? And it's like, ugh, do I really want to be responsible for this other person? 
sorry. I mean, I don't know. Maybe if it is. If it is, I'm so sorry. I don't mean to laugh at you. I'm just, this is what came to mind right now. That's what kind of I thought about. Because there is a responsibility when you're in a relationship. You know, it's not just you anymore. You're, you got other people or someone else to think about. Sorry. Hopefully not other people. But hey, you know, that's you. Hey. <laughs> Yeah, I think you just need, I think this might be like a job promotion. Or kind of just something related to career. Because you do, it's so funny how you have the thinker, then you have the thinking man, then you have the ace of pentacles, and then you have a man holding a coin. So I think you've, I think you just need to, really your soul really needs to think this over because I feel you're kind of resisting this and you're just doubtful and you're like do I really want to do I not I mean the two of like pentacles should be here because it's kind of like indecision um, and your soul needs that your soul needs that self-confidence and responsibility but you're kind of like, uh, you know, like, do I, I don't really want that, I don't want, but your soul needs it. It's going to bring some type of fulfillment, some type of value to you, and that's Yeah, there we go. I knew I was going to stop eventually, sorry. Um, I don't even know where it cut off. Um, crap, <laughs> what was I saying? Oh, because this is a general rating, I do try to see different ways of looking at it and it doesn't have to be just a career like I feel like you've been on this journey and now you've reached this point where to elevate to this new how do I say it like level of yourself level in life like leveling up you need this regeneration you need that rebirth you need that new beginning to happen and you just need to think about it you need to be honest with yourself about it be confident that you have what it takes to get through this whatever this new beginning is for you like I said it doesn't have to be career I just think for me it came like I thought career felt like career um, but doesn't mean it is general reading take what resonates um, as long as you're facing some type of change, rebirth, renewal, a new start, a new beginning, this can relate to you. Whatever you've been going through in life, whatever you've been dealing with, and now that you're at this point where your soul's like, you, you know, like, we need to change. Like, something's got to give here. We got to, we got to get through this, you know, and... We need to, your soul needs to be able to celebrate everything you've done and celebrate all your progress, all your hard work, everything that you've done to get to this point, to get to this new renewal. Like, I feel like this is a big change in a positive way for you that is going to bring in that type of value. Is it where it's going to bring in more money? Hey, it's a possibility. It's not to say that it won't. It just depends on your situation and what this new beginning is being tied to. Hmm. That is what I'm getting from it. I just feel like you just, what your soul just needs, you need, you need this, you need the change this new opportunity you need to run with it think it over don't fight it find your self confidence be the leader that you are that you know you are just be honest with yourself you know what you have what it takes you know you do and then celebrate your soul needs to celebrate like it's been a long time coming is what I feel like feel like it's been a long time coming and you've been waiting for this and waiting and now like this chance is here and you're like eh, uh kind of like you know was like wiggling your thumbs whatever <laughs> but 
but yeah you, you need to step up and your soul is saying do it go for it you have what it takes do it get through those obstacles celebrate be proud of the person and how far you've made it and get through it so very different feel from the other two readings i gotta say this one but you know i hope this kind of resonates with you if it does please let me know in the comments below um, and if you haven't please subscribe if you know if you'd like hopefully um but yeah good luck to you guys i send you lots of love light and positivity and you know i i hope this new beginning you know i can't wait you know if you're on this new beginning let me know because i'm like this one's kind of like i really want to know what this one you know what exactly this new beginning is for for some people i just feel like it's different all kinds of different beginnings that's coming through and it's not just career but i don't feel it's a relationship but it could be it could be so thank you group number three for stopping by again i appreciate you guys and hope you have a great day bye Why, hello group number four. Thank you for stopping by. And if you are new to this channel, which I think a lot of people will be, thank you for clicking, thank you for viewing. So without further ado, let's get started and see what your soul is in need of. Four. Every time people say four, I just think of golf. Four, you know. I don't know. That can't just be me, can it? Um, so I'm going to pull the... Um, these have already been shuffled. I just don't know what you got. So I'm going to start with the tarot cards and then we'll jump into your oracle cards and kind of paint this picture as we go. So I'm trying to get this there. Oh, I like this one. Okay, I'm, I'm getting a feel for this and... Let's see what the oracle cards, what your oracle cards say here. Group number four, what is going on in your life? I feel like, yeah, you guys are, you guys are, yeah, <laughs> you guys are doing good, I feel. Um, I don't know, that's what I'm getting from this so far, so that's your other set and then I have two more oracle cards yeah this is okay I'm gonna try to move this so mm -hmm. let me pause the video real quick okay I am so sorry group number four i just had to like readjust everything here all right well i feel like there's kind of two different possibilities this one's definitely more geared towards career and it's more geared towards romance but there's a heavy heavy feeling that this is more of a career business type rating coming through and so this is what your soul is in need of your soul group number four I feel like you guys need some good news to come through that's going to make you feel accomplished that's going to make you feel successful um, proud of yourselves your soul needs this victory your soul has been working 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 tirelessly for it and okay rewound your yeah <laughs> let me make sure i word that your soul is in need of victory your soul needs this good news your soul needs this to come through you need this like offer you need this offer and 
I feel like this offer that's gonna come through is gonna have so many possibilities opening up for you. All these doors are gonna start opening and your soul needs You guys, I was in the middle of my speech. I was in my flow. I was, I knew what I was trying to tell you guys. And then my stupid camera was like, you run out of space. Memory card is full. So apparently I need to buy a new memory card or I need to do three piles only because apparently you can't handle four. So sorry, there's been a delay. But you guys won't really see it, you know, because editing. <laughs> so I don't even know what I would left off saying. I should have probably looked, but there's been about a 20 minute gap while I transferred my the other readings. Um, damn, so what was I saying? I feel like, okay, so going back, I feel like it's career-wise, I feel like you've been putting your heart in Solante, you've been giving it your all, you've been, like, it's your passion, like, it brings that passion out of you, you're just, you're just like, come on now, when is my time, when am I getting this recognition, when is it gonna happen, when, like, you're just waiting, 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 and this is what your soul's been like, your soul wants that recognition, well, that's what I was trying to say, um, but, I mean, hey, 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 you got uh, entrepreneur so um self-employment suits your disposition and intentions working for yourself allows you to better follow your intuition and divine guidance we are your co-workers and teammates who remain loyally by your side to ensure your success in all ways not bad you guys not bad group number four not bad at all And then you have the frog. I don't know why, I just, I mean, I should have just left it. So impulse, adaptivity, voice. You're being guided to jump over any obstacles and embrace the change in your life. Yes, truth has an expiration date and the time is now to speak your new truths. Show the world your voice, acknowledge your desires and leap with faith towards what matters to you. So yeah, I mean, going back to you've had your heart in it and your lights, this passion inside of you, it's something you really like doing. So whether, it, you know, just opening your own business, if you're creative, um, that sort of thing, if you're actually doing like a small business, then hey, kudos to you. That is not easy. Etsy, um, YouTube channel, you know, Instagram kind of thing, website, you know, whatever you're doing it's like this is what your soul needs you to do your soul is like please 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 <laughs> we need recognition we need good news we need something to come through and you got the contract thing so it's like maybe you're gonna be signing a contract is that like maybe you're gonna have like sponsors you're gonna be working with or you know just like a partner kind of thing i mean it's possibilities are endless doors are there doors are there so yeah i feel like that's what your your soul needs it's just it really needs this this new new start and it might be something with communication and being creative i mean normally swords is more of your communication and wands is your more creative but it doesn't mean it, it's not gonna it can't be something that isn't creative like it might be something or you're just being like you communicate something and you know creativity is just part of it you know it really is especially if you're writing like if you're writing something maybe you're writing a book maybe you're doing podcasts like i said youtube channel it it, it could be anything but it's what your soul wants and it's what your soul needs and you know your heart has just been really into it and it's just oh my gosh <laughs> i am so slow sometimes like why am i so slow i don't know i'm sorry guys voice hello voice communication it's in the cards there you go yeah, I, I'm so I'm sorry. You probably caught on. <laughs> Some people might have caught on before me. I don't know. I'm sorry. I'm so like that. And, but it all comes together in the end. So that's that's what matters. Get the message out. And I just feel like these cards are just like poof, you know, like poof. 
<laughs> that's what I feel like. It's just like, yeah, here, like this is, get it out, get it, you know, do what makes you happy. And I feel like that's what it, or it does. It just brings out that passion and happiness and your soul just is like, we've been working. Oh my gosh, I'm sorry, you guys. Let's zoom. That's better. It's focused. I'm sorry. Um, once what your soul is in need of, you are in need of finding a way of communicating, waiting for this like message, waiting for this start, maybe an offer to come through. Maybe that's what it is. I mean, maybe it's like you're waiting for that offer and you're waiting for like that contract to sign. Like you're just like, oh, let me sign it. Let me sign it. Um, okay. So I know it's like Mercury retrograde or something like that and you know I keep reading how it's not a good time to sign contracts or if you do be very very careful so if you do just a side note just double check all the details um, be cautious this is bugging me sorry um, of what you're signing just be aware pay attention and just you know it, it, your soul just wants this it wants to be able to communicate and maybe that's what you're like waiting on like maybe you're like oh, I want to start a YouTube channel <laughs> and it might lead to something bigger I mean it, the possibilities are really endless but I feel like you just your heart is in the right place and it's and the cards are saying like yeah like you should do this you should do it I mean even if it's like a side kind of thing you know like a side hustle nothing wrong with that at all um it's something that would be probably just benefit you no matter what it's going to benefit you it's going to be positive it's a positive new beginning and you know people need to hear your voice too it may be something where your light is needed and it's going to give you that recognition that attention that you want that your soul needs and I think that's probably what it is too you just you need some good news you need something and maybe it's been like where you've been you have been waiting and it's kind of like <sighs> when is it gonna happen like I honestly feel like what if you're like one of those like you're like a singer starting up you know and you're just waiting and you're being told like no 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 and you're just like come on I'm writing my music I'm doing this I'm sharing my voice you know what and it could be that 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 could be like a different type of scenario but that could be applied I mean that's the thing it's like you just have to take what resonates overall the message is it's like not to be you know with the general readings no the details aren't going to be like 100% spot on sometimes they are though like they, they really are I've seen some of them like some of the, tip, the, the card readers online on YouTube are amazing so amazing I'm blown away but sometimes it's like little bits and pieces, like the general feel of the reading, if you get what I'm saying, is like that's what applies and that's what the message you need to take away. So, you know, I really do hope that that resonates and makes some kind of sense to you, group number four. I feel like good things are coming that you really, you know, your soul wants it. Your soul deep down, this is what you want. This is what will make you happy. This is what will bring you that fulfillment, emotional fulfillment. And fill your heart. You know, make your heart happy and full, and that's what what you should be doing. And forget what everyone else says, because shit, <laughs> this card right here is saying, you know, attention and praise. Hey, hey. <laughs> so, um, but yeah, that's what I have for you guys, group number four. So, if any of it resonates, which I hope it does. If it doesn't, I'm so sorry. Please pick another pile. Um, but, you know, let me know in the comments below and if, you know, if you really like the reading, hit that subscribe button and hit that notification bell so that way you know when a new pick a card reading is posted next. So, sending you guys again lots of love, light, and blessings and happiness and thank you so much again for tuning in, you guys. Until next time, I hope you guys have a great rest of your day or whatever you're doing. Bye.